Now, while this grab and drag mechanism looks good in theory, it has some serious drawbacks. In this case, I'd just like to pull this and knock the ball off the edge, but it doesn't touch for very long. If I just pause this and just go back and drag here and look at when it contacts, it hits right here, but it doesn't stay in a straight line for very long. And that's what I need. I need it to keep going on that straight. Uh oh, it's already lifting up. And so it's not staying on that face dragging the parts off. So how do I do that if I want it to stay in contact and, for example, drag that ball off the edge? So let's go ahead and close out of this file. Go to our class files folder. And in the class files, there's a folder called 4bar01 straight line. I'll double click on that and open up the assembly 4bar straight line. And you'll see we've gone right back to our original baseline four bar mechanism. And the idea here is to modify this so we can do a straight line drag. So I'm going to start by going here to our couple of link and I'd like to make some changes there. But before I do that, I'd like to go over here to this first constraint and delete that relationship. So I identify it and simply hit delete. Now I'm going to double click on the coupler to open it. And I'm going to add a circle right at the center of this coupler right here. There's the center. I'll just add the same size I did before, which was three. i zoom in and I'll go to that region, hesitate. There it is right there. And I'll just push that both ways. Got my option there for extrude symmetry. And I'll close and return. And I'll fit the view. Now, before I go and reconstrain this link right here, back into this center link right here, I'd like to go and make some changes to each link. So the first change I'd like to make is just here to our base ground link. I'd like to change that from 50 to 95. Close and return. And you should be very familiar with how to do this now. If I'd like to change the crank, double click. And I'd like to push that out from 15 to say 45. Close and return. And for our coupler, I'll open that. Edit and change the 80 to 240. Close and return. On my last link here, I'll make this 120. 45 to 120. And I'll close and return. And I'll fit the view. Now I'm ready to go up here to axial align. Take this cylinder and line it up with the center here to that cylinder. And this is the basic outline we're going to use for our straight line mechanism.